Hello there my fellow Hollow Table Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a nice week behind you and that you're looking forward to get your weekend started. But first, as always, we have a brand new Galactic Challenge to take care of and we have the return of Ewok vs Jawa Challenge on Tatooine. I think we've had this uh, a while ago so it's a kind of repeat of the same strategy but if you do need a reminder uh, I'll show you how to mod your Ewoks to hopefully get this uh, knocked out and then obviously there's another battle afterwards for the remaining feet so if you're just interested in the battles there'll be YouTube chapters below as always otherwise let's kick off with the reviewing of modifiers so the Tatooine modifier the Dune Sandstorm uh, so this really is how we are going to defeat Jawas it's by outlasting them and let damage over time stack up on them so much that they'll just start dying off because luckily Jawas they don't have a cleanser on their team uh, in terms of the modifier for Ewoks, extra speed is nice. Um, the stun mechanic, you won't see it often because Jawas don't really have a lot of ways to attack out of turn. However, the 50% counter chance, it's kind of working against us because we don't want to be hitting Jawas. The more we are hitting, the, mo the more thermal detonators they will stack on us. Uh, so I wish we would not have counter chance here, but hey, uh, we have what we have, right? And in terms of uh, Jawa's modifier, it does a lot of things, uh, but I'll just uh, highlight the key thing you will notice, which is whenever a thermal detonator deals damage, Jawa's will recover 100% protection and gain 5% speed. Uh, so obviously the protection cover is a little bit annoying, by, but they will, as they gain speed, they will be coming faster and faster, taking more and more turns versus you, which means they'll start dying off then in the end faster because of damage over times okay so modifiers pretty straightforward today uh so let's look at the feats up next obviously it's an ewok challenge so we need a full team of ewoks then we have to win after attacking out of turn 20 or more times and then also win with no tanks in your squad um now the attacks out of turn maybe could be completed by if you have a good ewok team but i'm trying to avoid doing too many attacks with ewoks just because of thermal detonators so i'll do that with another team and again, you will most likely need Paplu with your Ewoks. So again, there'll be another team for those feats. So let's first kick off with the Ewok one. So this is probably the most challenging one. Um, so the reason why I'm going with a Paplu lead, well, can be any Ewok that doesn't have a lead. Uh, because you don't really want to use Chief Chirpa's lead because uh, with him, you I think you're getting more bonus turn meter on basics. Uh, you're as well getting assist, which means more attacks. So you want to reduce the amount of attacks as much as possible. Just going with Pablo lead. In terms of modding, you will want to mod everybody basically for defense and protection because remember, damage over times and thermal detonators deal damage based on health. So you want to have as low health pool as possible and as much protection as you can. So all circle, cross, triangle and arrow, all protection primaries. It's pretty much almost mo like modding uh, for the Riva mission in the territory battles for your Inquisitors. Uh, but here also you want to make these guys slow. You don't want to be taking turns. Let Java be taking turns and start getting damage over time on them and start dying off. So you want to make these guys <laughs> quite slow to be honest. So you don't focus on speed. As always what you will need in this challenge is uh, Zeta on Paplu is unique because whenever Paplu then gains any effect so whether it's debuff or buff he will be recovering five percent protection so zeta on this will definitely be required in order for you to be able to win this challenge a log ray is another key piece here uh, again same thing lots of protection not a lot of speed on him um there we go and then the basic here uh applies tenacity up on himself and if he's called to seized by another ewok he will apply tenacity up on them so both like wicked as well as paplu you will want to call log ray for assist so they also get tenacity up so they can resist some of those thermal detonators and yes my log ray is relic 7 uh that's because obviously i had to uh their relic him up for our territory battle platoons uh, another thing to mention here is Zeta on a Log Ray. I'm not sure is it absolutely necessary, but it's definitely a nice one to have because it just gives you a little bit more there uh, health recovery for your guys. Just a little bit sometimes, I guess, helps. Uh, and then moving on, uh, we got a Wicked. So same strategy as with everybody else. Make them not too fast. Defense, protection, and same thing for Chirpa. 
uh, same thing for Elder, so the same thing here. It's really gonna be Paplu and Logre here that will be carrying the battle here. Alright, let's hop in the battle. Um, so the way you want to mod your Ewoks is that Paplu goes first, so he can call uh, Logre for an assist. Now both Logre and Paplu gain an SD up, and then you just do basics. A Wicket again calling uh, Logre for assist, so Wicket himself gets tenacity up, and from here on out it's just basics only, uh, more or less. There we go, Java putting a few hits on us, uh, let's go ahead and actually gain foresight uh, on the Ewoks with Logre. Uh, okay, we'll get a clients hopefully in a moment here uh, with uh, uh, Elder, so we can get rid of some of those damage over time. And now yeah, pretty much it's gonna be basics only from here on out, I don't think. Uh, my ebooks will last much longer. Uh, down goes Elder. There you can see Paplu there hanging in there because of his Ata constantly recovering uh, protection. Boom, there we go. Was it Chirpa that went down? I think so. Yeah, just keep using basics as well uh, there with Logray so he keeps getting tenacity up. Yeah, mine is Relic 7, but even when I had him at gear 12, you know, didn't make a, a whole lot of difference. Was still able to complete these challenges. And there we go. Jawa started uh, dying off there. Also, the special ability that calls for assist with Paplu is a dispel as well. So in this case, I had 16 stacks of damage over time. So I just dispel them there on Paplu. And that's it. Jawas go down. And that completed for me uh, the Ewok challenge. Uh, now, I think I need about 10 attempts for RNG to align. So just bear that in mind. It may take a few attempts uh, to get it done with your Ewoks. All right, now let's get the other remaining uh, two feeds done. So the attacking out of turn 20 more times and no tanks. So I'm going with this kind of uh, mishmash team. Obviously, there's pro probably plenty of ways to do this, like using Galactic Legend even and everything. But I just like to do something fun here. Um, so I'm going here with combination of uh, Sith Trooper because whenever First Order allies critically hit, he will call to assist, right? We need attacks out of turn, so this will this is one way where how we'll be getting attacks out of turn. Then we've got Kylo Ren. Uh, so the good thing about Kylo Ren obviously is he doesn't care about damage from thermal detonators and damage over time. So he will be able to survive without any problems. And you will not want to use his AoE because AoE does not critically hit. You just want to use his Outrage special so the Sith Trooper is constantly assisting. Uh, we got thrown in here uh, for two things. One is to swap Termeter with armor so we can quickly get that first stack of Beskar um, and then as well for Fracture. Uh, while somebody's in Fracture, Thrawn himself as well will be counter-attacking. So there we go, more attacks out of turn. Uh, we've got Watt as well, obviously for his stack, but uh, most importantly, he will be assisting whenever anybody um, with tech uses a special ability. So again, more attacks are returned from what as well. And then moving on, we've got armor and armor. She's a key piece obviously in this one. So you can get three stacks of Beskar on your Kylo, which means that Kylo will then have 100% counter chance. So once it's just Kylo left, you'll still be getting attacks out of turn. All right, let's hop in the battle and let me show you how I use this team. I'm going to put here Tank Tech over on Kylo so you can dispel healing immunity on himself whenever he gets a turn. Let's go ahead and get that uh, third stack of Beskar. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Med Pack over on Sith Trooper. Let's go ahead and swap Termeter with Armorer and put now Beskar over on Kylo so he can't be critically hit now as well he'll be counter-attacking there we go we're getting so anytime now Kylo takes a turn we get two assists so there we go Watt assisting uh, Sith Empire Sith Trooper assisting as well Kylo counter-attacking because of stacks of Beskar and every time he counter-attacks he creates Sith Trooper assist we got Fracture now as well so as long as Thrawn is alive if he gets hit he will be counter-attacking as well uh, just basics, I don't want to do here AoE. There we go, we can throw counter-attacking anytime. Because I still have Watt alive, Sith Trooper, they're both assisting whenever Kylo hits somebody. So we go, we're getting lots of attacks out of turn. And from here on out, it's going to be all on Kylo. Uh, again, don't want to do AoEs here, even once you're just down to Kylo. Uh, just because you will finish off Jabba too quick with his uh, AoEs. Uh, so you just want to keep using his last special, it's a single target attack. Uh, and you know... This should give you enough time that you can stall the battle long enough to get those 20 attacks out of turn again. Without Fit Tracker, I have no idea. Maybe I could have just spamming, start spamming his AoE to finish the battle quicker. But I just try to drag this battle out as much as I could. Now, it seems like constantly there are like three Jawas in stealth, but at least two of them are out of stealth. Uh, so you do get some counter attacks uh, here and there. 
but they've got lots of damage over time on them already, so they will start dying off now. Just down to Scavenger, I think a couple of more hits. He'll get a turn now, and down goes the last Jawa. And this can be for me now completed the two remaining feeds, so attacking out of turn 20 or more times as well, using no tanks in your squad. Again, probably plenty of ways to get these two final feeds done, but just wanted to do something fun uh, because, you know, I can remember days when you could use OG Kalo uh, to like uh, solo Ewoks, solo Jawas, uh, who else we sold? Carf, you know, but obviously now meta has changed a lot since then, so I barely get to use OG Kalo at all. Thank you for watching guys, hopefully this was useful and helpful, let me know in the comments below or on my Discord server, but until then have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.